Hey guys, it's Greg and I'm back with another legendary DXP character spotlight video. This time our gaze is focused on none other than Donea Petalfall. Donea is one of these balanced heroes where her focus isn't toward attack or recruit, so she generates a bit of both. None of her cards are egregious in cost, either too high or too low, and neither her strengths nor her weaknesses move the needle too terribly far with regards to changing the trajectory of the game. First up is Wand of the Unicorn. At three cost, it produces one recruit and allows you to draw a card. At face value, this is just deck filler and a fairly expensive one at that. You know, other heroes have similar pit stop along the way to another card kind of cards, which give attack or they cost less to recruit. Since it produces only one recruit, it's less valuable or powerful than a mere shuffle bottom. But since it draws a card, it has the potential to be more valuable than that. Speaking of being more valuable, this card becomes a heck of a lot more valuable when paired up with a recruit gaining, ranged, or card draw theme. Moving along to our next card, we have Dark Magic. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't really like this card. It's two attack for four recruit, which isn't really that bad when you factor in that attack generally is at a premium over recruit. But that ability, man. With skill synergy, you may play the top card of the villain deck to gain plus two attack. Now first off, Donea is all over the place with skill typings, and this is her only skill hero. So you're already at a deficit. Either you rely on another hero having skill cards, or you resign yourself to not being able to use the ability very frequently. And second, the ability is questionable at best. You're probably never going to use it if you're playing a scenario that ends in a number of certain twists, or rather, ends when a certain number of twists uh, are revealed or played from the villain deck. Each card out of the villain deck is potentially a twist, so why risk it? I mean, there's a reason I almost always avoid Charge of the Horse Lords. But even if you're doing it because you don't have anything to fight in Alamith, by producing plus two attack, you're not usually coming out ahead. You're probably not going to be playing the ability because you need that to attack to defeat something. But, you know, more power to you if you are. Nature's Bond is a card that I quite like. Five Recruit gets you three attack, and if you reveal a Magi Nation card, which Donea belongs to, you draw a card. It's true that there are other cards that would get you more attack for the same cost, like Cars Uncoordinated Attack, or cards which give you the same attack for less cost, like Disarray's Deadly Aim, but unlike those cards, this one is all upside. Three attack from one card is a good way to set yourself up to get the big numbers that you need. One might even consider this to be three attack from slightly less than one card due to the card draw's potential. But I don't know enough probability and statistics to try and quantify exactly how much that is. Last stop on our Donea Jungle Cruise is Will of the Wisp. Seven recruit gets you five attack, which is respectable on its own, but you also get three recruit any time you defeat a villain or mastermind the turn that you play it. That's really sweet. You can potentially leverage that to get yourself another rare or a number of lesser rarity cards to fill out your deck and start hitting hard. Because of that potential, I would say that this is a top 10 card in the core game. Okay, so there we have Donea Petalfall. Not likely to win you a game single-handedly, but a really solid utility hero that is likely to be welcome in any game. She really does a wonderful job being paired with Kamina for assisting the card draw synergy, or with Hog to help boost recruit generation, and I'm looking at you, Will-o'-the-Wisp. I would say that Donea is a strong B. Her weakness, Dark Magic, is mitigated by the fact that the ability is optional, and she's buoyed by the strong cards like Nature's Bond and Will-o'-the-Wisp. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you disagree with the way that I've assessed Danea. Let me know if you think that I'm using her wrong or I'm just way off base. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I'll see you guys in a few days.